All right, this is like an Ulta haul. I've actually been using these products since I got them. Um, I don't know about you, but buying anything on, at Ulta online is like not the greatest of experiences necessarily because it's slow as molasses. Like I could ma make my order before I order anything else. And the day that I bought a bunch of things, um, <clears throat> It was number two, and everything else shipped way before my Ulta stuff. Ulta has, like, I don't know, some kind of communication issues with their company, which apparently a lot of companies seem to have this issue uh, in America. But whatever. And um, also, like, getting your free birthday thing. This was an Urban Decay perversion thing. Same thing. I mean, they made me jump through hoops just to get my free thing. The only reason I ever got the card was because they told me you get free stuff. So last year I was supposed to get the free mascara from Calvin Klein, which is like really nice. It was so good. And I thought, wow, this is good. But I went through like, I went to like several different locations before I could even get it. And every location I was in Philadelphia, Delaware, New Jersey, and Boston, uh, and Braintree. And I finally got it. Like, it was ridiculous. So, because I didn't want to go through that again, I went to read all of their rules, all of them, and I reread them to make sure that I understood what they were saying. And then I watched my email because it told me to be ready for my coupon code because you can't get it unless you have a coupon code. Unless you're in Delaware and they have some new system in their computers and you can do that. Well, if they happen to have the mascaras at the place, which they didn't the last time. So this year it was supposed to be that you either get some kind of skincare thing or you get some kind of makeup palette. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to get this cool makeup palette. And then they're telling me, no, you just get a sample size of Urban Decay. Uh, whatever. And it's called Perversion. It's a very, everyone likes it, I guess. Um, so when I went there on my birthday and I still hadn't gotten an email with a coupon code or whatever code, it was just to get this, <clears throat> but they still gave me my online shopping code, I was like, what do I do? And they're like, oh, well, you, you, it's this. And I'm like, yeah, well, I checked that and they said this. Oh, well, did you check the website? Yeah, I read it and this is what it says and here it is. I had my phone, I had everything, and I was prepared, okay? <clears throat> There was also no other customers there, and the last time I went through this, it was humiliating, and I went to, like, different locations, and I had to stand in line, and there's people, like, glaring at me, like, how dare you, like, hold up the line for the next three people behind you or whatever, or two people behind you. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, well, it's my birthday today, so can I get it? And then she's like, well, you have to come in on, maybe you have to come in, maybe, maybe you have to come in on your actual birthday. I'm like, yeah, it's today. Today was my actual birthday, and that was August the 27th. And she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, these are all my emails. This is what I have from Ulta. This is, this is and this is what it says, and then this is, da -da. and then they just didn't want to deal with me, so it was really awkward. So she just reached down, grabbed the thing, stuck it in a bag, typed something, gave it to me, and was like, have a nice day, happy birthday, or whatever. And then everybody was like all awkward. It felt weird. Okay. <clears throat> So there was that. So that's just, uh, I guess that's just how it is at Ulta. It's weird. It's awkward. They don't know what they're doing. They don't communicate with, well with each other. And if you order things online, they're still with molasses and whatever. That's just unfortunately how their company is. So, oh, well. <laughs> so um, also that day I wanted to look at some things because there was this product that came out that I thought was good. On the photographs online, it looks like beautiful. And this is incredibly expensive. It's by Lancome. It's called Audacity or Audacity in Paris. And it was designed by this famous makeup artist, Lisa Eldridge or something. Um, I might have watched her name. I'm sorry. But it actually in real life it looks like this. It does not. Do you see how bland it is? But I, I figured since Lancome eyeshadows are very rich and pigmented and velvety and whatever you want to call them, that it would be good. Um, but not all really 
that good and I paid $68 plus tax for this thing. It's beautiful. Like I like the sticker on the mirror. I am going to keep it, but I will never, ever, ever buy a pillow from Lancome ever again. I would say I definitely got ripped off. Um, these shadows, if you buy them individually, are so much better. And here they're like drugstore-ish kind of quality. Some of them are pretty good, but even this one here, like I've seen people swatch kitten heel to the real one versus the palette one. Not the same. Like, in fact, they don't swatch at all. It's some other kind of like cheap formula that, that they use for these. I would not say this is $68. That's insane. What the hell was I thinking? $68. But uh, now you can see why I have credit card debt. This is one of the reasons. Thank you, Lancome. Not. Um, I would say this is like a $28 palette that I have been more than overcharged. Yeah. Um, I actually, believe it or not, have actually used it, though. Um, I, I actually used this more than the other palette I got. For Malta. Um, this brush is so terrible. It's like watercolor kind of a brush. It doesn't hurt on my hand, right? Or my hair sensitive area, right? But trying to use this on your eye is like hell and torture. It is very abrasive. It's very scratchy. It's very itchy. I have sensitive skin to begin with. And I, compared to other people, I don't think I'm that bad. I don't know what they were thinking. It looks like it could be good, right? It that would be wrong thinking. Yeah. But um like I don't hate the palette. I just hate that I got ripped off for it. And I haven't really heard any really good reviews about it at all. I wish it was as vibrant as it looks online cuz the photo online makes it look awesome and it's not awesome. But um I actually use this every day when I um, when I got it, except if I was working. Although sometimes I might have shown up to work with some of it on. My new job, I can't really wear makeup. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, moving right along. The other thing I'd say, I almost didn't get this. And this also was just... The price is really high, and I wasn't sure because I actually got the Naked palette for Christmas, and I thought that was going to be great. I thought that would be like my Naked 2, but the formula is not the same as Naked 2. And I got the Naked 3 because that was one like I just had to get it because it's all rosy and everything. And I'm like insane about like pink colored makeup, even though I hate pink. But I'm also like insane about orange colored makeup, even though I hate the color orange. But those colors look good on me my face, my skin, and um, so I got this uh, Naked Smoky Palette, and it says it's a smoky palette, so you would think smoky, like do smoky eye, dark eye, stage makeup, but you could actually wear this even if it wasn't a smoky eye, like I'm actually so surprised at this, and the quality of it is very similar, exactly like the Naked 2. I wished my Naked 3 was this kind of good quality because my Naked 3 is just dusty and dry and it just wrinkles up my eyes and I've actually used that palette a lot. Um, but uh, the funny thing is I used these both together and maybe that's why I still keep this is because they do work together. I am just never ever ever spending $68. I blame inflation because what was this like 55 bucks? 55 bucks, 57, I don't know, whatever it was. That's freaking insane. The, when I got my Naked 2 in 2012, it was like 45 or 46 bucks. Damn. Um, but, wow. I mean, it's nice. And then here is my, the brush it comes with. And I don't know why some people don't like this brush, because this brush is so nice. The smudger brush is definitely really good. It's like a smudgy pencil brush, like kind of rounded, not really pointed. And it it's great. Uh, and then here you have like this little airbrushy kind of end thing like the Naked 2. It's wonderful. I love it. I have definitely paired this 
with this, which is why I am keeping this. <laughs> I don't know, were they, like, at the factory trying to screw over, like, Lisa Eldridge and, like, ruin her career? Because, like, this is not a Lancome quality palette. But whatever, when I put it with the naked, like, the naked smoky, definitely enhances with it. Like, in fact, I've used both of them together almost every single time I've used one of the palettes. Actually, I think I've always so far. And I got it in September. <sighs> and yes, I ordered it before, way before Labor Day. So anyway, other stuff I got for my skin was, I uh, got a Lumine Night Cream. Lumine is like a brand I've been using since like the 2000s. I do like it. And Physician's Formula. This is the Argan oil collect collection. I love everything argan oil. Like, it actually is good. It's not hype. It's, like, for real. And the CVSO Street didn't have anything. So I got it from Ulta. And then as soon as I ordered it, and it took forever in the freaking mail, CVS, like, magically got these. Anyways, they also, because there's, these, there's an Arabic style of, um, of uh, eyeliner type stuff. It's called a kajal or kajal, kajal, or kajal. It's not new. It's like old. And I saw them on the Ulta website, and I was like, I need it. Like I want it. Also, they don't have just black. They have like a like you can buy a pack. So they have brown and purple, which actually go well together. And on me, and purple is like one of those colors I often like have issues with purple and blues, but I knew how to make them work now. They're nice. Same deal. Freaking CVS now has them. Yay. I got this free sample of this serum stuff with my Lancome palette. I gotta tell you, Lancome does have very good skin stuff, so from now on I'm mostly just gonna stick to their skin stuff and their makeup stuff like I did before. And then I got this because Nikki Tutorials recommended it. It's called Bye Bye Under Eye with Collagen, Vitamin C, and K by It Cosmetics. And I'm having issues with finding um, concealers that don't make me look old, that don't make me look like a ton of wrinkles because by myself I look fine, but uh, Pigments in makeup products can actually widen and cause issues to deepen or get worse. Not just when you put it on and it goes into the cracks and everything, into the wrinkle, but also cause more. And I'm having issues, so she recommended this. It is so freaking strong and powerful that I haven't figured out how the heck to use this yet, really. I'm, like, confused. And I kind of got a little bit of a slight tan towards the end of the summer, even though I tried not to. But, oh well. <clears throat> and then, I got this thing. I don't know why the heck I got this. I don't know what the heck to do with it. I actually thought it was for my skin. I didn't realize it was for my hair. And it's some kind of night treatment for your hair. And I don't really know what to do with it. Uh, all the directions are, like, there's directions on the bottle, directions on the box, and then there's, like, a paper. And they all have different ideas about how to use it. So, it's French also. It's called Phyto Paris, Paris, whatever. Hydrating Regenerating Night Treatment. I don't know. I haven't so far seen kind of miracle anything happening with it. So I don't know. And then also it can't it can't agree with itself about whether you put it on your scalp or not. So I guess that's it for that. I think. I hope. Yes, I believe so. All right, I actually got through that Ulta haul and it didn't crash. Not good. Okay.